What's up algebra peeps? Today we are going to learn how to expand binomials or even polynomials so that we can find the product of our expressions. So here we go. So in the first example we're going to find the product. So in A we have the quantity 4x plus 3 squared and when we have one term as 4x, the second term is 3, that, considers, that we consider that a binomial. And notice how we're raising that entire quantity to the second power which means that we're multiplying 4x plus 3 by itself, 4x plus 3. Now a popular method to multiply out these two binomials or any binomials or polynomials together is the box method which helps a lot of students organize their work and visually see what they're distributing uh, what monomials are distributing to each other, so making sure that they cover all their bases. So here's our Punnett square. So we have a box one, two, three, four. And we make sure that we have our 4x plus 3. So we're going to write down our first term, 4x, and then our positive 3. And then along the top will be our second binomial, 4x plus 3. So we'll have 4x here and 3 here. Just like that. So like a Punnett square, we actually multiply out 4x and 4x together to get 16x squared. Then we get 12x because we multiply 3 and 4x to get 12x. Same thing in the bottom left, 12x, and then 3 times 3 is 9. So we're going to multiply, or not multiply, we're going to write out all of our products along the bottom. And if we have any like terms inside the Punnett square or our box, uh, we're going to combine them using addition. So we have 16x squared. And notice how we have a 12x and a 12x here. So we're going to add 12x plus 12x to actually get 24x and then our remaining plus 9. That would be the product of the quantity 4x plus 3 squared. Now in part B, we're going to multiply out the quantity 3x minus 5y squared. So we're going to rewrite this, expand it out, so we know what we're actually multiplying out. So 3x minus 5y times the quantity 3x minus 5y, and we're going to use our box method again, and then write out our terms along the left side and the top part. So then 3x minus 5y, we have 3x, and then a negative 5y along the side. And then we have along the top 3x minus 5y. Now just like before, we're going to multiply out our terms. So 3x times 3x, we get 9x squared. Okay, so then we get 3x times negative 5y, we get negative 15xy. Negative 5y times 3x, we get negative 15xy. And then finally, negative 5y times negative 5y, negative times a negative is going to be a positive 25y squared. So we're, going to, we're going to write out our products along the bottom. So we have 9x squared. And we have two like terms. Both terms have an xy in it, both being raised to the first power. So negative 15xy plus negative 15xy is going to give us negative 30xy and then we are left with a positive 25y squared so that's going to give us a plus 25y squared and then we are done alright in example two we're still going to find the product and luckily for us the binomials we have n plus 3 and n minus 3 so the same binomial except opposite second terms um, this is actually called the difference of two squares and I'll show you why we call this difference of two squares when we multiply it out. So just like before, we're going to use the box method, create our box, and then we're going to write our terms. So we're going to have the n plus 3 written along the side or on the top. So we have an n and a positive 3. And then we're going to write the n minus 3 along the left side here, just like so. So we're going to multiply out n and n, so we get n squared. And we have 3 times n, which is 3n n times negative 3 which is negative 3n and then 3 times negative 3 is going to be a negative 9. So like before we're going to write out our products in the bottom so we're going to write down n squared and combine our like terms so negative 3n plus 3n well that actually cancels out to be 0 so we don't have to write that down in our final answer but we are left with a minus 9 which would make us done. So then we call this difference of two squares because we have the difference a minus sign of two squares. n squared and 9 is a perfect square. So that's why we call this specific product a difference of two squares. Because we end up getting a difference of two squares. 
Okay, so the second part of this should actually say b, not a. Um, we're going to multiply out 4x minus y, 4x minus y, the quantity of two binomials. And we have a little squiggly line, so we're going to show our work right here. So like before, we're going to use the box method. And we're going to write down our products along the top and along the left-hand side, 4x minus y. And along the left side, 4x minus y. So we get 16x squared negative 4xy, negative 4xy, and then negative y times negative y is a positive y squared. So along the bottom we're going to write down our uh, our products. We have 16x squared and then we have two like terms, negative 4xy minus 4xy. So when you are adding two negatives you actually get more negative. So we get a negative 8xy and then we're remaining a y squared. So we have a plus y squared. And we are finished. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you ask any questions the next day. It is very important that you listen to the video while you watch it rather than have it on mute or just watch it and expect to understand it just by watching what I'm writing. So you got to listen and write down and watch. All right, have a good day, guys.